Hello, the practitioner here again. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, um, amateur magician, um, well, semi-professional magician. I've done my parties and stuff, and parapsych researcher. Uh, hey, Hayashi, I was just um, taking a look at your uh, Matrix Trilogy Two video, and I kind of like the uh, I kind of like the coin matrix. But personally, maybe it's just me, but I personally prefer doing it without cards. Um, I'm sure you're well aware of this particular variation. Um, four coins on uh, both sides of the issue. And uh, all I have to do is just do a quick focus, and you could hear the metal tap from the first one. And lo and behold, two have already transferred over to this side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm now just going to hold, uh, do a focus in. And with any luck, I've been able to teleport three over here. So now I just do another fourth focus, and now lo and behold, as you can see, all four coins have transported out to the four consecutive sides. And that's pretty much it. Um, I think you know this one, and of course all the reverse variations without the cards. So, um, again, that's just my own personal favorite. Um, you know, again, um, the main reason I prefer this uh, variation of the trick is because of the fact that uh, I have Asperger's Syndrome and am, how shall we say, uh, coordination impaired. So trying to pull it with cards is a little bit trickier. And, um, like I said, without the, right, without the right level of motor skill, it's uh, a little bit more difficult to learn magic than for neurotypicals. And so, of course, we have to work without... Uh, we have to work without the cards, um, although sometimes, I guess they can come in a tad useful. And that's just for me, signing off.